Well, social media is often appallingly anti-social. Sports people are regularly the targets and say the time for action has come. Here's what Latrell Mitchell and Cody Walker told Code Sports. Yeah, we need to be more you know, strict on our laws with social media and giving people an understanding that if you are going to say and put yourself out there to, you know, to say it, then you should have to you know, be accountable for what you say and the way you go about it. And I think social media have a have a responsibility because it not only affects you as an individual, it affects your, your family. Racism, homophobia, misogyny, death threats, it's something that has been happening a, a lot and increases and continues to happen. Mm, I think as athletes these days we're encouraged to be online, we're encouraged to engage with fans, we want to build sponsorships and brands. For some athletes that is their bread and butter, they don't get money from their sports so they need to engage for sponsorship reasons. But I think what's happening now is opening ourselves up to so many people, it's not just good that's coming, it's bad as well. And what are we putting in place to protect our athletes um, when they're going to be online? I agree because legislation came in and they said if there was any systemic behaviour, there was going to be a $100,000 fine and there hasn't been one case. Like, it's a waste of time in a way. It was but a PR it, stunt. It was a PR stunt. You're spot on, Dan. But the other part about this whole thing is, and they're 100% right, the social media need, giants need to take accountability because they should be coming up with some security measure, whether it's a fingerprint or the face recognition or your social security number, to catch it, like the cybernet. Because it's very simple in layman's terms to say, oh, we can't find anyone because there's fake accounts. We'll create the security that needs to be. They've got more money than anyone. If you create that, you can actually stop it. But you go first. The problem is they won't stop it and they won't clamp down because... Uh, they get so much more traction on the negative comments and from the trolls than what they do for anything that's positive. So that's one of the big reasons. Well, also, their currency is how many followers they have. So all the bots, all the random people, the anonymous people that go in under fake names, they count every bit as much as a person with a blue tick. So it's not in... Meta or uh, all the other companies, uh, you know, that involve Facebook and Instagram and TikTok, it's not in their interest to actually clamp down. I mean, Elon Musk talks about it's, it's a town square and everyone's free to say what they want. Basically, he's saying, what, like Zuckerberg, it's open season. Now, what's interesting is the government, the federal government, uh, a year or two ago, took on Google in regards to news articles and making sure places like the place we work for, News Corp and other Fairfax and so forth, got paid for articles being republished by Google. So they do have the ability to take on a multinational. I'm not sure they this whether it was this Labor government or the previous coalition government has the stomach to take on um, all these major companies. I don't think they see enough of an upside to, to do that. So... Then you've got to look at it through the other end. If this world is going to exist where this hatred is out there from anonymous people, I, I do think, Caitlin, I know what you're saying about they're trying to build brands yeah. and, and, and they, they grow up with this. I'm just not sure the risk-reward is in their favour. And I would say to someone like Cody and, and Latrell... It's not fair and you shouldn't have to consider not being part of social media, but maybe, maybe, maybe you need to really consider not being part of it. Um, and, and you wouldn't go into they a restaurant... They also do a hell of a lot of posit uh, I, positive I, work I under, through I their social media I understand well. that and I'm not saying it's fair. You wouldn't walk into a restaurant if you like the food and you like the decor and you like the atmosphere, but you're getting abused every time. Well, isn't it the same with social media? Yeah, I like social media too. I cop, you know, one cent well, tour of what you, they cop. You've got to find a way to ban the abuser rather than the person who's being abused. In a perfect... You? Yes, in a perfect world. But who's going to tell uh, Zuckerberg and Musk and the Chinese government with TikTok that they're, they're, there's where the step... There's where the magical step comes that no-one, I don't think, yeah. is willing to take. That's how, the problem. How debilitating is it? I mean, the, the women, it seems, in these surveys, and especially women athletes, the abuse level of them is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. I mean, I guess over the years you've yeah. suffered? Well, I know um, with the NRLW, I mean, they're getting trolled every second day, where the men, it's every third day, we, on average. So it is worse. And I've found, personally women um, far worse on Instagram trolling women than it is men. 
um, which is really sad because as women we should stick together and support one another, but it's generally, in my case, other women trying to bring women down. Not to bring this down, but uh, you were saying that, you know, we're forced into social media. <laughs> I'm not very active on my accounts, but I do get some amusement when I go in there, the heckles that I cop. Yeah. yeah. Just, mate, you know, picks you up a little bit sometimes. So there is, <laughs> there is that side of it where, you know, social media, you can have the fun and all that sort of stuff, but that, there's that line, and you were saying, the person who's obviously um, looking to harm or, you know, um, systemic behaviour, that's where you got the catchment net. So if you're an athlete and you've got Latrell Mitchell, who is probably got a huge following, he is the reason why you're getting so many numbers, hits and sponsors, and you tell him don't go on social media anymore, is that not damaging to your brand? Yep. You can get people, you can hire people. Latrell can hire someone to look after his social media. And now, again, I'm not saying that, I'm not saying this is Latrell's fault, I'm not saying this is any athlete's fault, mm. but that's the world that's been created. Mm. So why walk into that world? if you know what is yeah, possibly yeah, going to come back. I, I, I've ended that world, and which is right. I, I prefer to get abused the old-fashioned way. <laughs> yelling at me in the yeah. street is much better. 